हेलो 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 ओके हेलो हेलो ओके सॉरी गैस बिकॉज आई आई एम लेट बिकॉज आई वाज इन हेवन आई जस्ट लैंडेड यू नो यस्टरडे आई टुक द बस आई वेंट अप टू हेवन एंड आई मेट ब्रदर जैकर नायक देयर एंड यू नो सलाम अलैकुम Don't ask me for who was there witnessing that I went to heaven. I was there. I can assure you that I can give you details. Nobody knows. As an example, I found in heaven four rivers. <laughs> you know, nobody knows that. <laughs> you know, so I was there for sure. I found a Nile river there. I found Zakir Naik there. You know, the museum, and uh, you know, I find the comment of the Muslims, which is amazing. So, peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us see what the Muslim want to say to us. You see, uh, tomorrow we are going to go live, right? But I said, let us give us those Christians some snack for Sunday, you know. So, I mean, if you read the comment of the Muhammad, then you will not believe it. It is really deep. This guy here, he said, his name is Suf Suf Latif. Even your name is something. Jesus went into heaven too. Yes or no? Now you tell me your fairy tales. My friend, we are not talking about your prophet went to heaven. Uh, he can say I went to heaven, but the story he told is stupid. And you, you see, you are not listening. Uh, how you can listen? You are a Muslim. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Have you, uh, the Muslim only hear Quran. Doesn't matter. Even when the shaitan talk, they hear Quran. When your prophet says the angel take them 1,000 years to go to heaven. And this is the maximum speed. And you must make article about it. Says the angel are made a flight. And then you say it take thousands of years. And your Quran says it take a thousand years for the angel just to come down. So to go back 2,000 years. Okay, so Muhammad, he went with the angel to breathe. So in order for Muhammad to go and come back, he need to wait another 2,000 years. So this guy, he think we are just wondering if, uh, you know, okay, Muhammad, he went to heaven, Jesus went to heaven. My friend, Jesus came from heaven. Jesus said, I am from above. So he came from heaven. And you must not believe that Jesus right now is living in heaven. I mean to that. But the problem is we have a guy claim to be going to heaven. Nobody saw him. Nobody witnessed him. Even his wife, she said he was sleeping next to me. And you Muslim, you don't believe it's a vision. You believe it is. He went physically. But this is a total contradiction of what the Quran is saying. So either he is lying or Allah is lying. At the same time, the Quran does not say Muhammad, he went to heaven. The Quran says he took him to Al-Aqsa. Hmm? If we go to the Quran, this is about the night of power. Forget about the night of power now. I like the night of power, by the way. I mean, man, it makes me feel like I'm getting married tonight. The night of power. Okay, so when when the when the Quran says that Allah He took Muhammad, oh, we took all the pictures down. Hold on. When the Quran says Allah He took Muhammad to the mosque of Al-Aqsa, which is not even built yet, and you Muslim you say it's in Jerusalem. So where is the story about Muhammad going to heaven? Are you following with me? Oh, I forgot you don't listen. So Muhammad He went to heaven. Muhammad He went to heaven. Muhammad You gave, you gave us headache with Muhammad going to heaven. Where it says He went to heaven? This is the Quran in front of me, chapter number seventeen. Can you show me where it says that Allah, he took him to heaven? Where it says that? I mean, which one is more important to take a guy to travel from, let us say, uh, from California to, uh, to uh, uh, you know, California, or to go to heaven? So you're a prophet, Allah took him from Los Angeles to San Diego. That important, but he forgot to mention that he took him to heaven. Where is the where is the verse about Muhammad going to heaven? Do you understand me, my friend? 
I forgot you are a Muhammadan, you don't listen. The other guy, he said, Surat Al-Muntaha. Okay, where is it? It says Surat Al-Muntaha. The verse in front of you. Let us go to Surat Al-Muntaha so we can laugh. Yeah. Because the Quran mentioned the word Surat Al-Muntaha, you are right. But then when we read it, we will laugh. Why? Because that means Muhammad, he did not say Jibreel as Muslim they claim. Because that verse says that he saw him second time. So uh, Muhammad, he saw a person twice. And look what the verse is saying, that that person, he came down, not Muhammad went up. Do you know how to read? Oh, I thought you are illiterate like your prophet. Read carefully. Maybe you will not be able to read it because I don't speak like Zakir Naik. So let us do it like Zakir Naik. Brother and sister, if we go to the chapter of Vendidim, and we read the chapter verse number 9, and verse number 10, and verse number 11, and verse number 12, we will see the faith that he descend down. It says what? He descend down. Who is the one who descend? So, if this is about Muhammad going there, well, obviously this is stupid. Who is the one who descend? Did the angel descend down to Sidrat al-Mutaha? You Muslim, you say that this is a point even the angel, he cannot pass. So he cannot descend down to the point he cannot pass. This is the highest he can go through. Even according to your story, when the angel, he went to that part, he said to Muhammad, I cannot go with you. I will be burned. So who is the one who descend down? Any Muslim? Let us see what Zaka Naik. You see, the Muslims, they are not listening to Muhammadan, and they have their own fiction, and Jesus went up to heaven, Jesus went to heaven, ha 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 ha, Jesus went to heaven, so what? This is not the story, this is the story is, your prophet is making a stupid story, it doesn't make sense. Does it make sense that God can take anyone to heaven? Yes, we believe in God, we are not atheists. But when your prophet says the angel take them 1,000 years to come down and 1,000 years to come back, and then he go in a few hours. He broke the law of his God, the law of physics, which Allah established himself. He is the one who says it take the angels 1,000 years of our time. And actually, even the verse says, you are Riju. The same, the same as the word he said, Arraja, which means he, he, you know, he went in his way. Hmm? Read it carefully. You see it in yellow? Ya Aruju, here. Yudabiru al-amra min al-samai il al-ardi thumma ya Aruju. Okay, what does that mean? Those are the angels. Okay, what they do? He directs the fear of the heaven from the heaven to the earth. Then he will skin to him in a one day whose value of a thousand years of your rocking. Okay. Muhammad, he went with Jibreel. Jibreel is an angel. And actually, he is the head of the angels. And he is the one in charge. So, it takes Jibreel 1,000 years to go. Up. Which means it takes him 1,000 years to come down. So, if Jibreel, he came down to Muhammad, that means... The moment, the moment Muhammad he left the earth is going to take him 1,000 years to arrive to that tablet. You can, you can read even the Muslim interpretation. They say that those angels, they don't even go to Allah. They go to the tablet which is out in the outer space. Let me find you uh, the article you Muslims, you keep spread all over. You will cry for those articles. We made you cry for them. You wish they are not exist. All right. Read carefully with me. I forgot again. I keep saying to you, read. You don't read. Listen. Uh, I forgot you don't listen. Okay, look. I forgot you don't look. Speed of light, physics extreme. Learn more. This is your website. Okay. 
the angels travel at the speed of light that's wonderful who is the one who made this article you Muslims is that made by Christian Prince the Quran website miracle of the Quran take beer let me take beer this is my beer coffee here Muslims, Muslims believe that the angels are low density. By the way, I'm very low density. Trust me, I don't open my door, I go through. Low density creature, oh, okay. And that God created them originally from light. Okay, sound good. They move at any speed from zero to the speed of light, bingo. You see, this is your article, not me. Uh, where? I mean, you guys, I don't know what's wrong with you. According to NASA, FASA, whatever they call it, they call it what do you call her? FASA? NASA, JASA? I need mean, whatever name. You know, Zach and I know better. That just to leave this galaxy is going to take you a thousand of years. Let me see. Let me see to get uh, collect information. I will type in uh, uh, Google how long it take to leave the galaxy by speed of light. Let us see if we can get the answer from Prophet. <whistles> Brother and sisters, this, the disk of our home galaxy, the Milky Way, by the way, do you know what they call it Milky? We are the Arab who discover milk. And since then we are milking everything. We go to any country. We take over it, we milk it. This is where the word milky is coming. It's bigger uh, than we previously thought. Mm -hmm. you, really, you thought before something different, you idiot. <laughs> what a science. <laughs> and your study show, uh -huh, your study show, thank you very much, Atheist. Would, it would take 200,000 years for a spaceship traveling at the speed of light. To go where? Just to throw throw a galaxy, just one galaxy. Nobody knows how many galaxies there is there. Two hundred thousand years, Muhammad. He did that in eight hours, and the angels are. You are saying they live in the speed of light? Isn't it? This is your article. Are you getting it now or you are very slow? So if the angels, they will go in the speed of light to leave the galaxy, not to the seven galaxy, they need 200,000 years in the speed of light. How your prophet was able to do it in a few hours. Do we understand people? We are not talking if uh, if going to heaven is impossible or not. If God want to take you, he can take anyone. That's not the problem. But the problem is, Islam does not match with Islam. The fiction of Islam does not, you see, when you made this article, you are trying to convert me to Islam, right? I, I converted now. Actually, I converted to Islam since I heard that uh, Allah will give me big books. And by the way, there's a Muslim, he leave a comment, he says, is that a Christian prince who said to a Muslim girl, she's 14 years old, she's 14 years old, she's in the age of your grandmother. She said she'd been all over the world. And she said that, hey guys, do you want to make her young, supposedly 14 years old? I, I thought 14 years old, Aisha, she was six and she was mature. How you know she was 14? She said she'd been around the whole earth and she is obviously a very, very bad woman. She said that Jesus, he did something to his mother sexually. This is a 14 years old talk. Filthy coward. Is that Christian Prince, the same guy who says, uh, suckle me, I was quoting your prophet. Take off your panty, I was taking, quoting your prophet. I mean, I converted to Islam since I heard about Muta. You go to a woman, you say to her, take off your panty. Why you Muslims get upset for saying the truth? This is the religion of take off your panty. Did your prophet allow a Muslim woman to take off her panty for getting paid? Yes or no? 
So you get upset because I'm saying it? And that will make me a bad person. Well, that's mean your prophet is a bad person. So going back to the topic. Uh, first of all, actually, I, I like... Uh, <clears throat> Let me see, uh, Brother Zachary Naik. Zachary Naik is going to tell us about Laylatul Qadr. Look what this guy he have behind him. Hey, Zachary Naik, don't you know that this is haram? And why you have a why you have a why you have a moon in the top of what is that? So you want to prove to the Christian that you don't worship the moon god? I mean, you made a point there. Obviously, you don't. I mean, we don't worship the moon god, but we put the moon in the top of our head wherever we go. Alhamdulillah. The devil, Allah. Okay. Allah Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa Yes, yeah, you know, we have to pray on him and everybody of his friends and his neighbors and his wives. Okay, yeah, and next. Amma bad. Amma bad. You speak Arabic, supposedly now. <laughs> A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Are you going to go to the topic? What A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim? I mean, what the devil have to do with this now? Just go to the topic. So the first 15 minutes, he is just praying on Muhammad and the wives of Muhammad and the neighbors of Muhammad and the friends of Muhammad. And then we seek refuge by Allah from the devil. Okay, when the topic will start, let us, let us skip the first 20 hours. Here we go. Maybe he will start. And what do you know what is this night? And Allah says in the Quran. See, I skipped, I skipped the first seven minutes. And now he started. I just like, you know, just show you. I skipped the first seven minutes. And now he started. The first seven minutes saying, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, This is why in the Middle East and Islamic countries, electricity is not working. Yup, nope, no electricity. Straight never fixed. Because inshallah, we will fix it. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Hmm, fiction. So, okay, what is the night of the Qadr, brother? Deep, that's deep. Just hold on. Go back a little bit. تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن رب من كل أمر. And the angels and the spirits they descend, they descend with the command and the permission of Allah سبحانه وتعالى for every errand, for every matter. For every matter. Hmm. So when Muhammad, he told the guy he needed three stones to clean his bum. The angels came down for that matter. Hmm. It's a bum matter. I mean, otherwise, why Muhammad, he chose the three? This is the angels, they told him. So they came down for a special mission to teach Muhammad, clean your bum with the three rocks. I suppose he's speaking Arabic, by the way. I mean, the Muslim, they say Christian prince don't speak Arabic. This guy, he speaks Arabic. I mean, this is my this is my first language. The Muslim, they say Christian prince don't speak Arabic. His Arabic is very wrong. This is Arabic now. <laughs> okay. And peace is there. Peace. Until break of month. Ah, peace, yeah. So here the Surah tells us that on this night, of Laylatul Qadr, uh -huh. the Quran was revealed. Where it was says that, where it says that where where in the verse it says the Quran was revealed. Where is the word Quran? Where? Okay, let us search for Zach and Naik speaking about uh, the night journey. Give me a second, just to give you an idea how this religion work. Crazy religion. The journey of a prophet Muhammad. Zakir. Naik. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm trying to find where he speak about it. I can't and now I don't find it. Okay, let's change the word. It's raw. Please, you know, keep that the text clean. Otherwise, I'm going to shut it down. We are searching for Zach and I speaking about it. I found only a video of one minute, which is not really what we want. Only one minute? Okay. Um, just one minute. One minute for Zach and I speaking about an mirage. Hmm. Let us see what this one minute will do for us. Not enough for sure. We will be hungry for the knowledge. Okay. Hello, you're on the air. Assalamualaikum, brother. Walaikum assalam. I would ask the doctor, it's, uh, this is a question outside of the topic, but I would ask the doctor if... Are you surprised that a Muslim asking question outside of the topic? I mean, this is the essence of Islam. They asked Muhammad, what is the spirit? He said to them, I'm not going to talk about Hamas. Isn't this what your prophet do? If you open now any chapter in the Quran, like the chapter we are reading from about uh, his journey to the heaven, I mean, look, read the verses before it and the verses after it. Out of the topic. Okay, what is the answer? Did he go physically or it was spiritually? If he wants to comment, thank you. Thank you. The caller is saying in relation to the mirage, he wants to know if it's physical or spiritual. Well, that was the question that was the mirage, the ascension of the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the night journey. Was it a physical or was it spiritual? And I'm aware that there are some scholars who do differ. But the Quran says in Surah Isra chapter number 17, verse number one, that the beloved Prophet Muhammad was taken from Masjid al Haram to Masjid al Aqsa, that's the furthest mosque. And if you go to the Sahih Hadith, there are various Sahih Hadith we say that the Prophet did travel physically, and I believe it was a miracle. And many Prophets have done miracles. This also was a miracle of the beloved Prophet. He traveled physically and he ascended unto the heavens. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so he traveled physically. As long you need to be in the speed of light, Muhammad traveled physically how? Is he light? You see, the light will take it 200,000 years to pass the first galaxy. And you Muslims made an article about it, trying to confirm something called the miracle of the Quran. And you are the Muslims who said that the angels, and you use the same word, read carefully, the same sense. Chapter 32, verse number 5. Allah here was the cosmic, cosmic, the, the, the verse says cosmic, it says the word cosmic. I like your cosmic. It says he ruled the sky and the earth. What cosmic? Anyway. A fear from the heaven to the earth. Then this affair traveled to him in the distance of one day at the measure of 1,000 near at your count. Okay. And you are the one who said to us, the angels are made of light and they travel in the speed of light. Read carefully. Allah created them originally from light and they move at the speed from zero up to the speed of light. I like it, by the way, starting from zero. I was afraid they would move like from the minus zero or something. I mean, from zero. I mean, look at this. They were like not moving at all. So as long as this is your article and they agree that the angels, the speed, their, their maximum speed is speed of light. 
and Muhammad was accompanied by the angel. And not only that, he had a donkey with him. So if we say the donkey, he have the same nature of the angel. Maybe he's like a, you know an angel, but he looked like a donkey. Let's say you know, you know, you never know. Still, you just admitted that the maximum speed of the angels is the speed of light, and look what they say then. It is the angel who carry out. A law order these angels take their orders from the preserved tablet okay so they take the order from where they did not even see Allah they see a tablet so this is very low down so if it's going to take them a thousand years just to go to the tablet are you with me my friend not to Allah not to the seven heaven And this is your article. And they are taking it from tafsir. The tafsir says, yes, Allah have a tablet. Even the Quran says Allah have a tablet. He bought it from uh, Korea, you know. Korean people, they are crazy people. They do a lot of stuff, you know. And don't, don't be upset if you are Korean. I, I'm just joking. They made the galaxy, Samsung galaxy. You know, crazy people. So, Allah have a tablet. The Quran says so. Are you against the Quran? I'm not going to ask you now why Allah he has a tablet. Eh, Allah he have a tablet. What we can do? Hmm? And in this tablet, Allah he put his orders. Uh -huh. And this tablet is made from flowers. Uh -huh. Flower, flower, like the one you make bread from, not flowers. And it is decorated by pearls and diamond. Uh -huh. And Allah, he wrote for in the tablet everything, even your destiny. Okay. So it take those angels a thousand years to go there. Do you see it? This is the chapter 85, verse number 20. And by the way, what this have to do with the topic? I mean, read the whole chapter. It says here, nay, this is the glorious Quran inscribed in the tablet preserved. Okay, this is what they are saying. So the tablet is located down. Okay, it take a thousand years for the angels to go and grab the Quran. You know, grab Quran, grab Quran, come back. Like the bees, you know, like the bees, they get some honey and come back. You know, you know even bees, you know, the, the bees are angels. So, as long you agree and your Quran saying, it takes them a thousand years to go and grab this Quran, which is not with Allah. It is in the tablet, which is down, way down. Allah is in the, in the top of the seven heaven. So, it takes them a thousand years to go there. That means it takes them a thousand years to come back. That means two thousand years around the trip. So how your Prophet Muhammad, he did all of this in a few hours. Are you listening now? So this is the question. We are not questioning, okay, you know, he took him to heaven. You know, God, he can take anyone to heaven. So what? God, he can take you in a second to heaven, no problem. But this is a total contradiction. Because even your Prophet, he mentioned in details how he went to heaven. There's gates which open for him, and they ask him a question, who is with you, what he is doing, and he walked by, and then even they gave him milk and whiskey. They gave him wine in heaven, and Muhammad refused to drink wine. I thought wine is halal in heaven. Isn't it? Any Muslim have a comment? All right. Now let us see. Let us see more comment, which is the same. I mean, they are they are always the same madness. Very angry people. The same person. Let us finish with the same person first. Hmm. Okay. He said here. 
you know that you know what the exact problem is in these verses did you say there's problems in the verses and you are a Muslim trying to refute me uh, this is 60 minute program you know we are going to interview George Bush you know what the exact problem is you as a Muslim saying that you and you admit that there's a problem in those verses in those verses okay the ascensions into, into heaven there are no other details oh, what, what where, it's, where it says there's no ascension to heaven we just showed you the verse and then he says it is only said he is skinned to have where it says that are you blind or what it doesn't say that my friend it says he took him to Jerusalem what's wrong with those people they don't know how to read they don't know how to write you know their prophet did not know how to read I mean what is that huh read carefully it doesn't say he took him to heaven and look at this translation this is a translation or this is tafsir look how many bracket look this is Quran of a bracket Suddenly we have Al-Qurtubi in the Quran verse, Qurtubi in the Quran, volume number 10, page number 204, this is in the Quran. Ah, tafsir, tafsir, tafsir. Uh -huh, okay. Okay. He took his slave between two brackets, Muhammad S-A-W. It's like, you know, FM, short wave, etc. Muslims, they have their own band, you know, waves for the radio. For a journey by night from a masjid al-haram between two bracket take a take a note between two bracket, mecca at mecca to the farthest most between two bracket jerusalem okay what is what is the journey to heaven i mean isn't it stupid that some such an amazing thing happened that allah he took him to heaven and he is mentioning that he took him to jerusalem which one is more important? Don't laugh at the Quran, please. I know a person, he laughed at the Quran. He woke up in the morning, dying from laughing. He died, heart attack, you know, because he was laughing. You wanna be punished? Just wait, time will come and Christian prince will die and the Muslim they say Allah killed him. Oh, Allah gave him cancer. <laughs> And my friend there's there's people from every five people there is one or two they have cancer what's wrong with you it's normal no and you know uh, Allah himself have cancer I can prove it to you I mean this is cancer look at this idiot he took his prophet to heaven and he is talking about taking him to Jerusalem so what is the story about heaven he forgot the most important story it's like you know guys somebody he went to the zoo hmm? he went to the zoo in Africa I mean why you want to go to the zoo in Africa when you are in Africa I mean the lion is there go to see go see the lion in the desert so Allah took him to the zoo in, in Jerusalem he saw the lion there we took you to heaven which one is more important to mention the zoo or the heaven a location of a city which is a city anyone can go to and what you did there he Muhammad by the way the Muslim they believe in some tafsir books they say that the Prophet he took a ladder and the ladder is made of gold and silver that it's like a, it's the stairs the stairs you know ladder of like stairs so what we would do with the donkey now and why he went to Jerusalem and then from Jerusalem he went up to heaven he climbed the rock you know that the rock of the doom like the one in Jerusalem you know what I mean Muhammad he went there Which is a, 
which is a theft again as usual from story in the Old Testament and even the Jews tradition which is not really something really happened it was a vision let me try to remember where I forgot where I mean I'm getting old now okay uh, wait let's see I will find it I will find it you know simply what the story is I think this was about uh, uh, is it Jacob I mean what happened to my memory okay hold on <clears throat> we need the help of a prophet Google because now we are, you know, we are losing the memory. Here we go. I found it. So if you go to Genesis, if you go to Genesis, you will see it says it's speaking about a vision. It's a dream. We did not go there. So he said there, in the you can read any translation you want, you know. As he slept, he dreamed of a stairway that reached from the earth up to heaven. And he saw the angels of God going up and down the stairway. But this is a dream. This is not, he did not go. He's dreaming. Muhammad, he took it, he make a story of it. It's suddenly, it's about him and it's real. And you will notice that Muhammad, even Aisha should confirm, that Muhammad was in the stage of sleeping. When two angels, they come and they cleanse his belly. Which is true, I mean, last time I went to heaven, a bunch of angels, they came. And they brought with them detergent and, you know, stuff. They took my heart. Hmm. but I have two hearts the Quran says we have two hearts uh, they forget that the Quran says that we have two hearts so anyway so they wash one of my hearts and they forget the other one so when I was going to up to heaven when they you know they have inspection for Corona you know they check my heart they found that's okay they took only one heart the other one is still there and they you know they said you cannot get in because you know we have to do a redo uh, the surgery uh, so you know because you cannot you know get in with the you know without washing uh, the two heart hmm. yeah any Muslim everything you have is a theft of somebody everything I don't see any Muslim making any comment, anything serious. Anyone? <coughs> no? Okay. Look like they agree finally. That's good. They left Islam. ما جعل الله لرجل من قلبين في جوفه. That's deep. How Allah he knew this. How Allah knew that, huh? Okay, so Allah, if he did not make too hard for you, how you are going to have four wives? Each one of them, she need a heart. You say to each one of them, I love you? How many hearts you have? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Prophet fear Allah and he had taken not to the unbelievers and the hypocrite verily Allah is full of knowledge of wisdom yeah exactly 
And this is why he said it take you 1,000 years to go there and then he got you busted by taking you over a few hours and bringing you back. And not only that, in the same trip, he took you all the way to Jerusalem. You stopped there. There was 124,000 prophets waiting for you. Each one of them have a donkey. And even Muhammad, he tied up his donkey on the wall. Oh, the screen is not on. Hold on. Mistake, mistake. It's my fault, my fault. I forgive me. All right. So you did not see the word in Genesis. Here we go. This is Genesis. Okay. It's my fault, my fault. All right. This is Genesis 28. And you can read the story. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Do you have any Muslim have any objection? It's okay, it's okay. Now you have a screen. No problem. Anyone? Let us see more comment and see if the Muslims are really they have they have any idea what they are talking about. Another comment to the scene. Give me a second. Don't worry, I know the screen is down. Yeah, this is the same guy saying to us, Jesus, he went to heaven. Forget that we answered that already. Okay. And then take this one. Let's see. Okay. We have uh, a female Muslim. Her name is Jasmine. She's speaking nice. So we say hello to her. She said, The Arabian prophet, I mean only, actually, she's answering previous. You know, this is all on. This is the first one she mentioned. Let us show this one first. Quran, and I will show you the screen again, don't worry. Quran chapter 17, 1, Allah's spirit of command lift Muhammad S-A-W up to hit the sky from the Masjid of Al-Haram, point to Masjid of Al-Aqsa, straight to the borders of the highest seven layers of the heaven. Sadrat <laughs> al he saw Angel Jibreel. This is the question. I mean, you, why Muslims are not listening? What do you mean he saw Jibreel? Didn't your prophet, he says Jibreel, he come down to the earth and he cut his chest. So he saw him there or down in the earth. And isn't it your prophet, he keeps saying, Jibreel, come to me, Jibreel, come to me. So Muhammad, he saw Jibreel twice only, because the verses we are talking about, the one you are trying to quote for me, it says he saw him twice. First time and second time. Let us go to the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad. What is the Quran? Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. Hold on. Man, oh man. Nobody is listening. I'm talking to myself. This is the chapter you refer to and you're telling me. Read carefully. The one who descend down is who? You said Jibreel. Okay. But Jibreel, he cannot pass this point. How he can descend to this point when he is, he cannot pass it. To make it simple for you. Let us say you are a person from Hong Kong. Or you are from uh, Korea. You know, uh, in, in Korea, they have the fourth floor. It's like Haram. It's like they have fiction about fourth floor that it's like evil, you know. So they go go to the fourth floor. Okay. So let us say Jibreel, Jibreel, he met Muhammad in Surat al Muntaha, which is in the seventh floor. But Jibreel, he cannot pass that floor to go there. So how he descend from there? How he do you know what descend mean? That's mean he came from above the seventh floor, not from underneath.
And look at the ear translation. He put between two brackets again, Jibreel. Where is the word Jibreel? Why you add it there? It doesn't say Jibreel. How it can be Jibreel? Is it Jibreel? He said, if I pass this point, I will be burned. If I pass this line, I will be burned. So it cannot be Jibreel. The reason the Muhammadan they are so confused about this verse because it says here then he convey to his slave okay well if it is Jibreel who came down how Muhammad is his slave do you see the stupidity of this cult in order to fix are you fixing the Quran by adding the word Jibreel Muslims seriously why you are adding the word Jibreel if Allah did not say the word Jibreel that's mean you are saying that the Quran is very confusing book and Allah forgot to mention who is the one who's coming down who's talking about who you are fixing the Quran because if we take Jibreel off from the bracket there's nowhere it says he's talking about who However, it says it clearly that he revealed to his slave. Here it says translation. He revealed to God's servant whatever wanted. It says that to God's servant or it says he revealed to his slave. Liars. If you change the translator, look, this is, this is Sarwar. Even his name is weird, Sarwar. Thank Allah, his name is not Sarwar. That would be the Z. So Mr. Sarwar, he come with the translation, which is very sorrow, really. Sorrow, sorrow. Okay. Look, we changed the translator. Look, the whole thing changed. So Allah, between the bracket, so did Allah convey the inspiration? Okay, hold on. To his slave, Muhammad. So if the one is coming down is Jibreel, how Allah convey his inspiration? Imagine, guys. I say to you, James Bond, he is coming from the sixth floor. Now he is in the fifth floor. Now he is in the fourth floor. Now he is in the second floor. Now he is in the first floor. Now he is in the, in the ground. He opened the door of the elevator and Allah gave Muhammad Quran. Like what? So what What James Bond have to do with the story then? The one who should give the Quran is Jibreel, not Allah. This is why in different translation they try to fix it because the story is so stupid. So they say, Jibreel, Jibreel, Jibreel. Actually, here we go, even here it says Jibreel, but nowhere it says here Jibreel. And look again how stupid it is. It says he saw him in the horizon. Well, is the horizon in the in the in the the, the seven heaven? How he came down to Surat al-Muntaha and then he saw him in the horizon. And how this is Jibreel, it says by the mighty one. Jibreel is the mighty one, so Allah is who? He's the mighty two. The one with might of power. You see, when I say the one with might of power, that means there's no other one with might of power. It's like, you know, you are going to, let us say, a stadium. And I say to you, you say, okay, which one is the one I should talk to? I say the one who is eight foot. That's mean there's only one person eight foot tall, which is still shorter than me. I think I'm like 14, 15, 17. I forgot really, you know, because, you know, when I was a, a kid, uh, we use, uh, you know, uh, the, I used to, 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 to practice the prophet medicine during Kamal urine and Alhamdulillah, while well, I was growing so fast. Magnesium, magnesium, you know, all the, the urine is full of magnesium. And then you read the comment, the Muslim they give you in the chat or in the, in the comment later, you will find that they have nothing to do with the topic. 
There's no topic in the topic when the Muslims refute you. Can't Allah say, I send down Jibreel? They will say to you, well, it says in different verse that the one who sent it down is Jibreel, even in that one, it doesn't say so. Do you want me to show you? Here we go. Let us go to the Quran. The Quran. Huh? Look what it says. It doesn't say Jibreel. I mean, what's wrong with this God? He can't say the word Jibreel and that's it. You ask the Muslims, who is the Ruh al -Kudus? This is Jibreel. Where it says that? <laughs> Where it says that? The Hadith, the Hadith. So is Islam, is, a, is the Quran the book of Islam or the Hadith? Obviously, the Quran is a stupid book. We have to go to the Hadith then. Okay, here we go. Who is the one who sent it down? The Ruh. Again, between two brackets, Jibreel. I mean, what's wrong with this God, Allah? He cannot put the word Jibreel there for a second. And how Jibreel is the trustworthy spirit and his honored spirit. We can prove it easy from the Quran. Let us go again to the yellow pages. <coughs> We know, we know some Muslims, they knew. Eh, anyway. Uh, what we were talking about? Okay. So, uh, Zibreel is a ruh. That's what the Muslims say. Well, okay. It cannot be. Because the Quran says that the day, the angels and the spirit, they will line up in a rank. So, if Jibreel is an angel, then it's stupid to say, look, look at this, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is Quran. The day that a ruh, between two brackets, Jibreel or another angel. <laughs> they're not even sure what they're talking about. I mean, how the word ruh is angel when the Quran says, and the angels. You see, when you say that there's a first one is a ruh, ruh in Arabic means spirit, soul. Hmm? Spirit. So when the Quran says the, the spirit and the angels, that's mean they are not the same. Otherwise, it's stupid to say the angels and the angels. You know what I'm saying? If the one we are talking about is the same quality, the same kind, then it's stupid to say the spirit and Especially he did not give a name. He just said he's a spirit, which means this is the kind. You see, if he said that Jibreel and the angels, we can say, okay, Jibreel, he named him by his person, he will be there, and the rest of the angels will be there. But he did not say that. He said, the spirit, spirit is the kind of life, which is exists by itself. You see, we as a human, we are soul and body soul and body we are not a spirit and our soul the spirit we have is a life the power of life the quran here says the spirit and the angels so they cannot be the same kind because then the quran is stupid by saying and it's like saying uh, uh, you know, uh, Trump and Trump. But the first one is Trump, the second one is Trump anyway. You don't say Trump and Trump. In order to put the word and between them, they have to be different. Different person at least. And as long as you mention that it is a ruh and the rest are angels, obviously they are not the same. Kazim, you want to convert me to Islam in 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want to call me Kazim? I saw your text before, Abraham, I saw. Do you like to call me Kazim so I can open Skype, uh, sorry, uh, Pad Talk for you? If you want to call me, I will open Pad Talk for you. Just let me know. 
and then you can convert me. You know, I like to convert, by the way. You know, so, you know, once you know, like get sovereignty versions. I mean, come on. You know what? If I get those versions, I would never go live on air. I would be busy. Don't take me wrong. You might think I'm going to be busy like doing something bad. No, brother. I will be busy uh, <coughs> exploring. I hope you understand. Full breasted. You know what? What I was worried about that Allah promised me women with half a breast. I mean, this is God, not like the God of the Christians. You know, I mean, look at this promise. You will get young girls, and they have big, big, huge boobs, and then you can hold the nipples and look for the for radio station. This is God talking. God, holy God. And the funny is that. Uh, uh, did that he said to them did you read the song of song it's a porn book and then later he found the prophet muhammad is there and suddenly the song of song which is porn for 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 the that became holy book muhammad then the but then since then nobody no muslim says this is poor the this is book of porn So any comment? Let us see more comments and from the comment section so we can finish them. <coughs> uh, okay, this is an atheist, I think. This is an atheist. Look what this atheist is. By the way, I like atheists. I don't know if you're an atheist or not. The problem, they did not allow me in the city to grow them in my backyard. Look at this genius. Christians are cherry picking, picking and forgetting that Jesus drowned babies and fetus. I mean, those people, they uh, approve a portion and they are talking about a drawn fetus. Those people, they approve a portion, which means killing babies and the Jesus is bad for them because he drawn. My friend, God, he kill human every day, just to make you happy. But we don't call it killing, we call he die, the guy he die. You call him die, heart attack, you call him. But in fact, it is that God, he created you in your way, so you will die. You don't live forever. That is God's decision. So God, he gave you life. God, he took it back. He did not kill you. When somebody... He take your life, it's not his right to take your life because it is not him who gave you the life. So God, he made me, he gave me life. God, take my life back. But you kill babies, approve abortion, just because you want to have sex. You kill a child, you are not the one who created And don't worry about God justice. Jesus, he said, if you don't become like this, those little ones, you will not enter the kingdom of my father. So even if a child, he die, Christ will be just to him. He commit no sin. He will take him to heaven. He's in a better place. But to be honest with you, once I debated an atheist and I lost the debate, he asked me, do you like banana? I made a mistake. I like banana. I said, yes, he said, see, Originally, you are a monkey. And since then, I cannot tell the truth about how much I like banana. They have a logic, those atheists, you know. I mean, the most of them have proved to us that monkeys used to be human and Allah made them monkeys. The atheists, they want to prove to us that human used to be monkeys. You know what? You win the debate. I mean, okay, you are a monkey. I mean, what I can do... I, a, a human being want to debate you to prove to you that he's a monkey. What I can do about it? It's like that girl, she want to debate me, you know, you remember a Muslim girl? 
So I said to her, okay, you want to debate me about beating women? So if you want, she want to teach, she want to prove to me that beating women is right. I, I From my side, I will prove to her that beating women is wrong. So I said to her, okay, if you win the debate against me and you win the argument that beating women is right, can I beat you? I mean, can you believe how stupid this religion is? So my friend, atheist, um, you know, you atheists are weird. You believe in fictions too. I mean, a big bang. I mean, the biggest bang happened in your head. It's a theory. The atheists, they tried to make a machine for the big bang and they spent billions of dollars and they, they could not even make a chicken from the big bang machine. What, what happened to your big bang machine? Did you sold it in the flea market? Hmm? Let me, let me search for it. Let me search. Big, I think they, they were doing it in Finland or Denmark, I forgot. Big Bang Machine. By the way, if it's for sale, I will buy it. I mean, we can we can sell it as, a, you know, I mean, scrap. Oh, in Switzerland. <laughs> Big Mac Machine in, in Switzerland. <laughs> oh, boy. If you see how big this machine, how much money they spend, look at this. <whistles> Chips technology scientist. Okay, and what happened? Look how deep it is. Even it's longer than the, the grave of Adam for the Muslims. This is the Big Bang machine. What happened after all of this money you spent for what? What happened? Did you create a, a universe? What happened? Suddenly this machine is dead. Why? Because, you know, stupid. Stupidity is amazing. The only Big Bang is in your head. Big Bang, Big Bang, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when I come for you? Hmm. Anyway, remember, uh, 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 Democrats are now in control, so atheist is always right. <laughs> I'm Joe Biden's husband, and I approve this message. You know the thing, you know the thing, you know the thing. <laughs> I'll be honest, how many of you hate me? How many? How many hate me? How many? Come on, you just tell the truth. I know you hate me. And look at this other Muslim. Let me show you this guy. This guy, he is a genius. I don't know if you know where is the word genius coming from. We are the Arab who created gene and yes. Anything, anything in this world, we, we the Arab created, you know, anything. Okay. Sanarula, Sanarul Islam. This is an Indonesian from, uh, sorry, a uh, Muslim from Indonesia, not Indonesian from, Muslim, from Islam. Come on. What's wrong with my English? My Arabic is bad. My English is bad. My Turkish is bad. I mean, everything is bad. So, Sana, Sonara, Sanoral, so hold on. San Orol, Sanor, Sanorol, Islam. Cha Surah 97 Al Kadalak. Hold on, you idiot. How it is 97 now? It is 97? Who changed the numbers? Don't you, you, you must have you got yourself busted before even you talk. Don't you must have you say there's a numbers according to Revelation? So how this verse became, this chapter became 97? Who changed it? You said to me, Uthman. So you said to us, Quran never changed, brother. Hmm. So, okay, let us see. Surat Al-Qadr, brother. Al-Qadr, Al-Qadr. We reveal this Quran with permanent value and principle. Like what? Breastfeeding for adult? Muta? Any Muslim woman, she can give herself to the Prophet? Beat your wife? A lot of a principle here. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really flooded with the principles. 
have sex with the children like Aisha? I mean, this Quran is full of principle. Hmm. Okay. At the time when the world had become dark, without the light of Wahi, I took out the Muslim translation. I mean, he translated all the words and then suddenly he put the word Wahi. Okay, Abdul, what Wahi mean? Is that a translation or this is a... How in the world somebody do not know what way he would know now? Oh, he know what way he mean. So you have to put it there to show you. He know way. It's way. Abdul, do you know what way he mean? Mean inspiration. Isn't it your Muslim you say that Muhammad he received delivery from the pizza boy, Jibreel? So how he received Quran from an angel, his name is Jibreel, by squeezing him. And this is inspiration. Do you know what inspiration means? Muslim, do you know what inspiration means? Inspiration that God spoke to you directly in your head. Jibreel coming to you and telling you that is not Wahi. As an example, the angel in the Bible came to Mary. He told her a message. Is that inspiration? If this is inspiration, that means Mary, she is a prophet in Islam then. Is it? Amazing. Stop laughing Why your Jesus said he does not know the hour of his return. What is that? <laughs> Nowhere he says he do not know. You are lying. You see, the Muslims, they are not only ignorant in their religion, they are ignorant about what we believe. Jesus said clearly what the Old Testament teach. That God the Father is the one. You see, like in the, in the let us say, in the Jewish tradition, who is the one who will announce the big event? The Father. Who is the one who will tell you when it's going to happen? The Father. Even if the Son he knew. The Father. In the same chapter you are saying what you are saying, it exists, which is not. Jesus, he said exactly what will happen. This person will do this, and that person will do that, and etc., and etc., and etc., and then that generation will not pass, and then I will come. So how we do not know how he is coming? You are a liar. We can put the verses right now in the in the in screen, or we can play them. However, I will take you into what you just said. It is your prophet who claimed that Allah told him about the judgment day. It is started. He said the judgment day is sight. And the moon split. So Muhammad was reporting the start of the judgment day. So how Allah he reported the judgment day to Muhammad started, but yet until now never happened. Are you there? When when God he say. The judgment, the judgment day is there. And the moon is split. So the moon is splitting is a sign of judgment day. What happened? Allah was wrong. In the same time, if we go and read what see what Jesus said, Jesus told you what even people would do in normal average people, even a villager. How people will deny each other when all those things happened? I will come, which means the more you corrupt yourself faster, the more faster I will come. We Christian, we don't believe in destiny. <clears throat> you see, if you read the, the Old Testament, you will see that God He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Not only when there is no good people left. If there is only 10 people left in the city and they are good, he will not destroy it.
So it's not a preset date. We don't have a preset date for, for, for the Day of Judgment. Because that doesn't make sense. In Islam, it makes sense because nothing in Islam makes sense anyway. So it makes sense not to make sense. According to Islam, judgment day is made. Allah decide even what you would do. And then you would do it. And then Allah will punish you for what he forced you to do. If you go in the hadith, you will see even Adam, according to Islam, he commit no sin. So why Allah kicked him out of heaven? Do you know? <clears throat> Let us see. This is your prophet speaking about that Moses and Adam, they have an argument. By the way, I'm not going to ask you how this happened because this is stupid to say how Adam met with Moses. Isn't it your prophet? He says that all of them, they are dead and he is the first one to be resurrected. So how Moses met with Adam? Hmm? Two dead men. And this is the first man. He met with some, someone he came thousands of years after. So Moses, he asked Adam, because of you, because of you, we are kicked out of heaven. And you Muslims, you say that Moses was a Muslim, but look like Moses believed in the original sin, because this is what original sin means. Because of Adam, we are out. And then we commit sin ourselves too. So Moses said, in dispute with Adam, you are our father, you deprived us and caused us to come out of paradise. Adam said to him, you are Moses who Allah chose to, to, for his speech and he wrote the Torah for you by his hand, by the hand of Allah. Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me? Do you see it? In the Bible, we don't believe that God decreed for Adam to do sin. That would be stupid. Why? Because, okay, if you decreed for him to do sin, so why you get upset from him for doing sin? He just did what you told him, forced him to do. So Allah, he decreed that Adam will do sin and he decreed it for him 40 years before he created him. So why you blame Adam for the sin? Look what your prophet said. You know, I saw some Muslims speaking about sex scandal. I mean, you, how you speak about sex scandals? Your prophet is the biggest sexual scandal in history. I saw a Muhammadan saying, speaking about this guy, what his name? Uh, I forgot his name. Zachariah or something. They said that he have a, like a mistress. Well, your prophet, he raped women. And he's a prophet. So if that guy is a false priest, if he did that, I don't know. I mean, the guy is dead. And anyone can accuse anyone after he die. Uh, why did not accuse him when he's alive? But let us say for the sake of argument, it's true. Your prophet is a prophet and he is the biggest sexual scandal in history. He made verses claiming from God that any woman she can take off her panty. Uh, the Muslim will be upset, I said panties. Yes, it says that in the Quran. Any woman she gave herself, give, give exactly what? If a woman, she gave herself to the Prophet, what he want? I will give you three options. He want her nose. He want her toes. Or he want something between. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, you Muslims, you have no religion. It's a stupid cult. Even if somebody commit adultery, Allah force him. Read carefully. It's a destiny. To fornicate. Destiny. It's not a choice. Verily Allah, who is saying that? Muhammad himself. The, the big potato. A 
Abu Huraira reported Allah Apostle saying, Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which you have to commit. Right? And look, Jannah right away switched the topic. They don't want to talk about the previous topic. How God, he sits in a throne and he is a spirit. Well, who said that God is only a spirit? God, he came to Abraham as, as a man. We are very naive. That the question will go for you now. You see what Muslims, they do to themselves. And now she will change Jannah. I don't know if it's she or her, he. He will change the topic right away. If Allah is not is if Allah is not a spirit, who is sitting on the throne? How he sit in the throne? For us, God, he came as a man. Okay, God as a man, he sit in the throne. Your God, who is not a spirit and he has no spirit, what he is doing on the throne? The Muslim, they will say to you, don't ask. Is the throne of Allah is something physical or metaphorical? The Quran says and the Muslim says that it is physical. Even they say how big it is. Even it's carried by eight angels and they have four faces. Face of a goat. Face of a lion. Face of a human. Face of an eagle. And this is the Quran. And by the way, I'm not going to mention how stupid the Quran writer that he wrote the word well, Malaku. Malaku? Okay, Malaku. They will say to you it's in the dictionary this way. So they change the dictionary just to make it correct Arabic. And the angels will be on its side and eight angels will carry it. Do you see it? And not only that, the tafsir says that when the angels, they tried to carry the throne of Allah, they could not bear it. So Allah, he ordered the wind to carry it, to help them. Are you there? So I'm going with you now. Our God, he came as a man. Our God, he says in the book of Genesis, he created Adam in his image. And Muhammad later, he copied the same exact phrase and he put it in the hadith. what Allah is doing in the top of the throne. And not only that, the Quran says that Allah, he rise up to the throne where he was before and at the throne. Hmm? Allah, he created the earth and the heaven in six days. And then he rose over the throne while he was under the throne. Simple questions, they will go, they will do poo, poo now. They don't know that they will change the topic right away. They will post something else. Hey, hey, post for me something from the Old Testament to change the topic. Oh, go, go. That's what they do. Actually, those questions are forbidden to ask in any Islamic school. It's forbidden haram. Haram, haram. Anything is wawa, anything is uvu, anything is burning is haram because the second you ask those questions, Islam is poo-poo. Any Mohammedan have anything to say? And you know, if Allah is above the throne, how, what kind of God he have to come every day in the third part of the night from the top of the throne? You Muslim don't worship God, you worship a yo-yo. You know your yo-yo? Hmm. Look at this. Uh, 
read and laugh. Are you going to say to me the game of weak and strong and you know? Our Lord, the blessed, the exalted, descend every night to the lowest heaven like hold on Abdul, the biggest Abdul, Muhammad. I thought Allah is the creator and he cannot go inside his creation. So if Allah descend from the seven heaven to the lowest heaven every night, so why Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven? People are listening. Didn't Muhammad he said that Allah he took him all the way to the seven heaven to meet him there? When at night, and obviously it happened in the last part of the night because it took him all the way to the seven heaven, not in the beginning. Okay, but Allah was not there, Allah was in the lowest heaven. What do you think? Do you see why they don't debate me? Because they knew I will squeeze them until no mayonnaise is coming out. They cannot debate me. Sometimes I feel like I'm coming from different galaxy. The God Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo Allah. So Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven to meet Allah. And he went there. Oh, uh, we forgot to tell you, brother. Allah, he took the limousine and he went down to the lowest heaven. Like, what the heck? I have to go back now? That's mean all the story of Muhammad is a fraud. About him going and meeting Allah in the seven heaven. He wasn't there. Read it. Hmm. Why always at night? I will tell you why. Always I do things at night too. You know. Once I want to date it, uh, a girl. She said, "Let us have a date." So I said to her, "Okay, I will meet you at night when there's no light." And you know, I was lucky. The city, they you know they have light. Uh, the electricity is off. And then I went to see her, and then the light came off, and she ran away. Alhamdulillah. True story. Look, look at this idiot. He said to me, where do you get interpretation from? You idiot, it's in front of you. What interpretation? This is what Prophet said. Uh, people, look at this. Where do you get interpretation from? Your Prophet says, Allah, he come down every night. Every night. He don't even take a vacation. Where do you get interpretation from? This is not interpretation. It's in front of you. Did your prophet use the word every or he did not? Uh, let me focus with you. Focus for every night. Every, let me, you are slow. Let me read for you slow. Descends every night. Okay. Allah, he descend every night where to the lowest heaven okay muhammad went to meet allah where in the seven heaven <laughs> but allah wasn't there <laughs> allah took the elevator down already you are late muhammad you have to go in the daytime yeah, here we go this guy is obsessed with the Trump. Each time he comes here, he says, well, do you share bed with the Trump? <laughs> it must be a gay. Because this is the only concern you have. Anything, anything for you. Do you share bed with this guy? I wonder, you share bed with how many? Stupid idiot. Do you have dual? A button echo? Yeah, if you actually, uh, 
and the other day there's a sheikh from Pakistan he was using the echo program I died laughing you know YouTube suggests to me videos but I don't I, like the the typing I mean the title is in Urdu language so I don't speak my Urdu is not really good you know the only Urdu I know uh, Urdu 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 way Urdu Urdu Baraguay you know I, I forgot most of the Urdu hmm yeah he was using echo so he was assalamu alaikum 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 alhamdulillah 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 allahu akbar 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 and and guess how many people watching him watching him watching him five people five 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 obviously his echo working very good 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 they love echo 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 you feel like you're in the bathroom room room all Islamic rooms, rooms, rooms in Paltok, 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 they have echo, 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 echo. Because that make it holy, holy, holy. Um, they have obsession, session, session. Don't do that with your wife, okay, 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 because she will kick you out, out, out. And in the best scenario, she will make you worse. This is, this is, this is, this is. In the best scenario, 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 scenario. And don't ever do this with your mother in law, 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 law. Allah knows what will happen to you, you, you. She will make you a you, 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 you. <laughs> like Allah coming up, coming down, coming up, coming down, coming. I mean, what's wrong with this God? So he cannot hear you. Is Muhammad serious? Muslims, is Muhammad serious when he said Allah come down every third part of the night? Is he serious? Is that a joke? So the poor Allah, he had to step down from his throne, which is carried by eight angels and come down to the lowest heaven to do what to say who's praying for me why allah cannot know don't you muslim you say allah is all-knowing well the all-knowing he have no reception there otherwise why is coming down don't he knew who is asking who is not Okay, this video, it was supposedly 15 minutes. I hate my videos. I mean, this is a short video, supposedly. I hate you, people. I hate you. So what we would do now with the video tomorrow? Should we move it to the day after? Because we need people to, uh, to be able to watch. I think I will move the one tomorrow to the day after. <clears throat> All right. Any, any Mohammedan have anything to say? Maybe, maybe. Anything to say? So when a, when, a, when a Muslim says to us, Allah is the unseen God. The unseen. And then we add all those fictions about this Allah, that he is holy, he is powerful. He has two hands in the right side, he has five fingers, he has a shin. And then we find that Allah is not powerful really. I mean, look at this. This is an act of somebody He's limited, very limited. I feel sorry for this Allah. He have to travel every night to ask who is praying for me. You see here, either you have to say that Muhammad was making things up or you say he was saying the truth. If you say he's making things up, well, then Muhammad is a false prophet, we agree. If you are saying he is saying the truth, that means Allah is not all knowing, is not all hearing. And that means all the Muslim prayer, which you do five times a day, which is fiction, not true, fake. You don't do it because you like to do it. It's an obligation. Anything is obligation is not real. Anything. You see, when you force your son to say, to call you sir, If he say it doesn't mean he call you sir because he respect you because you force him but if your son he respect you and he call you sir my dear father that's mean voluntarily he respect you the Muslims are forced to pray a Muslim who don't pray for three days 
they will take him to the Sharia law court and they will question him. If you don't give an excuse, he will be considered as a kafir and he will be executed. They will give him another three days to repent and stop praying again. If you don't, you will be killed. No prayer in Islam. No fasting in Islam, actually. If you don't fast, they beat you up. They take you to jail. If you repeat it, you will be executed. So people are not fasting because they fast. And by the way, well, fasting in Islam is not a fasting. I mean, just to switch the meal. You sleep all day. You wake up all night eating like a monster. You get fat in the month of Ramadan. The price of food in the month of Ramadan is a skyrocketing. Search right now in Google, Prophet Google, about the price of food in Ramadan. If the Muslims are really fasting, the food price will be down, not the opposite. Why it goes up? Because simply, the prices is about demand. People buying more, eating more. They are not fasting more. Everything in this religion is a fraud. Everything. Where is the believers who they are fasting Ramadan? Soaring Ramadan food prices take a toll in North Nigeria. We are fasting, brother. We are fasting. We are fasting to the point there's no more food left in the market. So the price is going so crazy. Alhamdulillah. Hey, brother, you gain a lot of weight because I'm fasting, brother. <laughs> Oh boy, it is a religion of hypocrisy and fallacy. I think we have one more comment, let us see. Oh, oh. this person here, he said, let us answer this one maybe. Let us put it for you on the screen. Boxer, he is saying he's a Muslim. This is was made Islam. I was showing that in Islam you say, uh, Praise be to Allah 100 times, your sin is forgiven. You touch the black stone, your sin is forgiven. So look what he said. He is giving excuses. This is was made Islam different from other religion and made it better. How? Not only it is so flexible. Islam also provide their ummah, which means nation, many challenges and gave them the reward. Where is the reward? You say Bismillah 100 times, your sin is forgiven, this is a challenge? For example, guys, look at the challenges. For example, he's giving us example. example. <clears throat> so when we live in Islam, we can really feel we are really game, in real, in real game of life. And he gave us a finger, holy finger. For example, kiss or touch the black stone, their sin will be atoned. Pray on the night of power will give them a thousand year month, a thousand month of a praying of their bonus, etc. That make Islam better. Just to pray in this night and you go rape the second day. Touch the black stone. Go and rape a child and go and touch the black stone. No, your son is gone. Islam is very flexible. So also Islam provide many ways of the ummah to erase and delete and wipe their sin. 
even if their ummah forget fasted during the month of fasting they can replace it in different day <laughs> solution <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Just think about it. Islam is very flexible. You are horny. Go and do muta. Flexible religion. Your sister is horny. She want to make some money. She go and rent herself for one night stand or two hours. Flexible. Very flexible. Hmm? You like children? Go and marry a child like Aisha. She is six and she was mature. Flexible. Hmm? You want to go to heaven? Say astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah 100 times. You are forgiven, brother. Flexible. I'm truly, truly convinced. I think not only Islam is flexible, I think you are flex and able yourself. I think your brain is a brain of a genius. Another guy here, we finish with this one. He's speaking about pole vision in heaven. Okay, hold on. You see, when those people, they try to refute me, I mean, I laugh. You idiot, you just said vision. Your prophet did not do vision. Your prophet, he went there in a spaceship, it's called donkey. What's wrong with those people? And you are trying to refute me and you say vision. Oh, now I understand why the Chinese they said he left as a donkey he never came back as a horse with this I want to say thank you guys for being here our broadcast supposed to tomorrow but I think I will post it so people they will watch this one those who did not were not able to join us they are asleep so they can watch this one and maybe we'll do the other one the, the day after so we will change the date you will see you know just uh, just uh, see the update and we will we will show you thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and welcome all the muslims please leave your comment and try your best to make your comment something have to do with the topic if i talk about potato don't comment about tomato your prophet he went to heaven to meet allah yet allah he come down every third part of the night allah wasn't there all oh, the story is an idiot stupid story thank you god bless you pray for the muslims don't hate them we care for them we laugh at islam yes because islam is a joke islam is a fallacy islam is a curse islam is against the true god but muslims they need our help not our hate hate never solve a problem hate make problems increase it the quran says in chapter 5 verse 14 Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. Remember that, Christians. So if you are a person who is a Protestant and you hate someone, he is a Catholic, you are following Allah. That is the teaching of Allah. That is the plot of Allah, the plot of Allah. That is the plan of Allah, the devil. He said that in the Quran, chapter 5, verse 14. Christians should love even the Muslims so how they can hate each other. If you hate, you don't belong to him. And the Lord, he says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So my friends, do his will so you can be safe. Someone post in the chat, in the, actually in the comment, saying that Christians are granted to be saved. I say to him, true, yet, you did not quote the whole truth. Christians are granted to be saved if they are true Christians. Jesus said, yea, 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 or nay, nay. So either you are with me or you are against me. There's no gray. So we are granted to be saved if we are people who truly believe in him if we don't you cannot bribe God this is not Islam who you can say 100 time praise be to Yahweh and then you will be forgiven that will not work with him he is not a stupid God he is not an idiot he is not a joker that only 
can work with a bunch of kids you want to make them eat candies after they finish their homework and actually you don't want them even to do the homework just say praise be to Allah and your sin is forgiven that is a joke it's an insult for the brain of a human being so we pray for the Muslims to see the truth and the truth will set them free and until we see you soon again if not tomorrow the day after Christ is Lord Islam is false and thank you very much